So getting your dog to be conditioned to train off leash or to be off leash is one of the most important things you're going to do and to do it properly it's going to take a little bit of work. So what I want to show you today is one of my secrets that I've used for years to condition dogs to be off leash and it's something that you don't even really you don't need to use an e-collar um, to make this function. So I do like e-collars. I'm a big fan of e-collars. I've used them and I've used them on Goofy to teach them off leash work. But um, this is a component that you can add into your training because you're gonna start with a long line. Everything, whether you use an e-collar or not, you're going to use a long line to start with. So whether that's a flexi or just a long drag line, I like the drag line better. Goofy's conditioned on that. What you're gonna to wanna to do then is you're gonna to wanna to cut that distance down. The length of the line will start out quite long. You may start with a 10, 15, or even a 30 foot long line to get the dog to drag something where you can control them. In other words, you're gonna be 30 feet away from your dog, the line's gonna be there, you can step on it, you can grab it, you can correct the dog, bring him in if he doesn't listen. So, Goofy, come over here. Good. Lie down. But at some point, you need to shorten that line. And the way really to be successful off-leash with people who don't use e-collars and people who do use e-collars as well, is to start to shorten the length of that line until the dog sees it as being transparent. In other words, it's just there whether the dog knows it's there or not. It's always, always there. In other words, Goofy always thinks he's on a leash. If I tell him to come, he's always gonna come because he thinks he's always on a leash. Using a flexi gives you a lot of varying distances. I don't use it for walking much. I use it much more, lie down. I use it much more for training so that I can kind of control his distance from a dog show or something like that. I use, like using a flexi because I, can like, I like letting him think he's free without him actually being free, right? So that, that is using the flexi, and then you can have him drag their own leash around. The leash can be six foot, this is a four foot leash. I always like to go to a four foot leash at the end so that the dog has the, the ability to um, understand this distance. This is the distance that the dog is allowed to travel with me or away from me without ever getting a correction. I don't care if he's a little bit in front of me, a little bit behind me, a little to the left, a little to the right. This he's permitted to do. Now, that brings me to the one thing that I want to show you that's going to make your off-leash training work better. And that is what we call a pull tab. And pull tabs come in different lengths, right? You're going to pretty much make these yourself. Only one that I have here is store-bought. And that is this one, the ABC Clin, which is from Germany. Really nice. It's got a brass snap here. It's got a little ring, and I'm going to show you what that ring does as well. I'm going to show you how to use each one of these three. I'm just going to take the leash and put it over my shoulder for now because we're not going to use the leash right now. We're going to use the pull tabs. So why three different pull tabs? They have, each one has a different function. You'll use them for different, different things. So Goofy, come here. So first of all, they can be attached to either a prong collar or a flat uh, uh, choke chain. So if I attach this one here to his choke chain here, you'll see that it kind of just dangles. Goofy, come here, turn around. Good. It just kind of dangles at this distance. So the distance that this should hang off of the dog's neck should be Goofy state. Good. It should be where it doesn't drag on the floor. Now you'll notice that all three of these are about the same length. None of them drag on the floor when he's walking. This is super important. Now, I'm gonna start with the store-bought one first, the ABC Clin, and I'm gonna show you that this here gives me the ability that if I'm walking my dog to give him these little taps, and without him really knowing he's in control, he's in control. So here, I've just got this between my fingers. I walk, and here. I'm gonna move the broad jump weight, because that was from the last lesson, we're not using that now, plots. off of the hiking trail in case other people come by. Good, sit here. Good. And I can use it for things like getting the dog closer in here, 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 here. Good, I can get him straight and I can say foos and get him good, up sit, good. Put him in this position, right? Good boy, yeah, good boy, foos. We can walk around, it stays, it's like a sh very, very short leash. Now, this is the heaviest of the three. It's made of leather, it's got a heavy snap on it. The good thing with this is I can push this little piece of leather through 
and now I've got a pull tab with a handle. So it's like a very, very, very short leash. For those people who have maybe weaker grips and stuff like that, this is really easy because you can grab on with your finger. I like to use it long ways, but this is a good way to have the dog in real solid control that I can give a nice firm correction if I need to. Foos, back, back. And remember, the tab stays completely loose when it's not in use. There's no corrections on a collar. The dog is never dragging me on a collar on a walk. Right? He should never feel the collar being there. Right? I can go back, give him a little tap, back. This is one of the biggest keys, biggest secrets to getting the dog really conditioned to be foos, right? Because he doesn't really feel this on there like he does a leash. And I use it very differently from the leash because I don't need to really have as much pressure on him. So again, this one will, will tighten up here, make a little loop, and I just pull it through. And I've got just always make sure any um, any uh, pull tab you use should have knots on the end because you want it to be able to you want to be able to grip it nice and snug with your hand so that you don't lose it.